Hey, it's Ken here from OK Portugal and welcome to another episode of Portugal Farm Life. If you're new to the channel, I'm a South African. I've been living in Portugal for the last two and a half years and we bought ourselves this amazing farm. Now today, we're gonna to be doing something really cool. Come and check it out. So this is the old farmhouse kitchen. As you can see, it's uh, very basic. In fact, the only thing in the kitchen is this bricked up area here with a sink. And we've got this old oven over here and we've got the fridge and the washing machine. So today, we're gonna to be building a new kitchen. So ideally, we would be retiling all the walls, we'd be retiling the floors, we'd be doing all of that. Uh, but you know, just to keep um, in budget and also to keep it as cheap as possible, we are only gonna be using sort of flat pack units um, for the kitchen cupboards and stuff. And uh, yeah, hopefully we're gonna be able to build a good looking kitchen uh, It's a lot more functional and works in this space. So the plan here is to move the sink in front of the window have a double sort of covered unit there. We're gonna have another unit over here for a built-in oven and hob. And then we're gonna extend the countertop all the way to the side. The fridge is gonna go right against the wall and the fridge is gonna be boxed in. And then we're gonna be able to put a tumble dryer next to the washing machines. So we're gonna have a tumble dryer and a washing machine and a long countertop. And then we're gonna have um, some cupboards up at the top here. So there's gonna be extra space. And then on this side of the room, we're gonna be replacing this unit here with uh, the same matching style cupboards that are gonna go underneath the television and they're gonna have some worktop on the top. So that basically gives us a space where we can prepare food. Obviously you're gonna have the oven over there. And uh, next to where the sink is here, we're gonna have some more worktop space spanning across the washing machine and tumble dryer. I'm pretty good with electronics. I think I'm pretty good with video. Um, but one of the things I'm really bad at is DIY and uh, well, building. So fortunately, I have a good friend He's a really good builder and uh, he's here to help us install this. All of the parts of the kitchen are here in our barn and uh, this is Stuart. Uh, he's a mate of ours, he's from the UK but he lives in Portugal now. Uh, and one evening uh, we had a couple of beers and he was like, yeah, I'll build your kitchen for you. So now he has to do it, unfortunately. <laughs> he's probably regretting it now. Yeah, don't drink with Ken. <laughs> After three years, Dina, it's finally happened. Yay. Well, it's actually not three years, it's like two and a half years, but three yeah. summers. Long enough. It's long enough. Yeah, new kitchen. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. yeah. Does that mean I have to start cooking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart's been building all of the cabinets and stuff inside this room, but the flies are so terrible in here right now that we've had to move. So he's built a whole bunch of these ones so far. And uh, yeah, just look at all the, these flies. I mean, it is, it's pretty crazy. So outside we've set up a gazebo and hopefully they won't be as bad. Uh, they tend to go into shaded areas like that. So hopefully they won't be as bad out here. Stuart's been hard at work all day. He's built all of the cupboards so far, and uh, we got some beers. Cheers, che dude. Cheers, mate. And we're going to go and hop in the pool now, and we'll see you tomorrow. It's the very next morning. We're in the kitchen, and uh, Stuart's just going to take out the sink. He's built all of the cabinets yesterday, and we're going to start installing those. Things are about to get really messy in here. <laughs> So this is the first, the first piece. So we've run into a little bit of a problem. To finish the kitchen off nicely, you're supposed to have end panels, a panel that goes along the wall, and it goes all the way down to the floor. And then on the end of this unit over here, there's supposed to be a panel that goes all the way down to the floor. Now we've got panels. They gave us end panels, but they're exactly the height of the cabinets, and they don't take into account the little feet underneath. So 
these panels aren't going to reach the floor. So we have five of these end panels and they're the wrong height. We had to wait two, no, about four weeks for all of this stuff to be delivered and we don't have four weeks to wait for new parts. So we're back home, it's uh, quarter to six. Uh, we've been um, in Castella Branca, we had to go back. We've spoken to Leroy Merlin. To be fair, they have um, actually really helped us out. They've sorted everything out, but we have to wait about five days um, for the new parts to arrive. We have a gigantic mess, <laughs> but that's understandable. But we thought we were gonna have a mess for a couple of days, but we're gonna have a mess for about a whole week. Uh, Gina is not um, particularly happy about all of it. Um, Gina's got her mom arriving in a couple of days. And obviously she doesn't want her mom to come here and just see this gigantic mess in our house. For the first time ever. Exactly. So the first time she's ever going to see the farm and ever going to see our house and she's going to see this big mess. So it's a little bit of a shame really. So it is coming together but it's a bit chaotic right now. Um, obviously we've got nowhere to cook anymore. We don't even have a sink to wash up in. And we've got three messy dogs and it's just, um, no. yeah, it's not going to be the most fun. It's the next day and uh, out with the old, in with the new. It's time for this old cabinet to come off the wall. <laughs> this thing had like about 100 kilograms on it. <laughs> We're getting there slowly but surely. Uh, and actually in the slowly, it's being done really well. I'm very impressed with what Stuart's doing and how he does things. And uh, yeah, it's starting to take shape. So it's all coming together, it's very exciting, but I just want to point something out. These cupboards over here are not going to be staying here forever. Um, we're actually putting them here temporarily um, because we're going to be moving them across to this side of the room uh, at some point. The problem is, is that our sofas are too big, so we need to get new sofas so that we can put a sofa over here and have the television on this wall and have these cupboards on this wall. And what that means is that we'll be able to see the TV, see the fireplace, and if we sat over here on a sofa, we'll be able to look straight out the front door as well. So because of that, we're sticking these on temporarily. We're not drilling these into the wall. They're stuck on with a very strong glue and uh, we'll be able to get them off with like a razor blade or something like that. So we finished work for the day. It's our first beer of the day. And uh, thanks to you, awesome job, dude. Yeah, I can't wait until this is done. So the beer was a little bit premature. Uh, I'm not actually done today yet. Joaquin is on our bottom field and he's busy hay baling up all of that grass. So I've missed uh, over here, this is our, one of our olive groves and this is where we've got one of the bales. So all of this grass is now done. And I'm not sure if I can see another hay bale here, but I think that potentially it had nearly enough and probably got to the next field and then, you know, pooped out a hay bale. If you've been watching our channel for a while, you'll probably have seen the episode, which was quite recent where all of the grass got cut and hay baled. Now that happened on our sort of main area of the farm and we've got this olive grove area and we've got this bottom field which never got done. So now we're just on our way down there. This is like the final part of that. According to the weather report, it's 39 degrees today. It's absolutely brutal. I believe the hottest temperature ever recorded, according to Google, the hottest temperature ever recorded in Castella Branca was 41 degrees or 41.8 or something like that. So it's very, very hot considering that it's only uh, June. But yeah, we can see here there's a whole bunch of hay bales that have popped out the back. He's getting quite a few of these. This is brilliant. If you're new to the channel, Joaquin is our neighbor. He's a, a sheep dairy farmer. Now in summertime, as you can see, everything gets really dry around here and those sheep, they need to eat grass. So he helps us out with some jobs around the farm and stuff around the farm. And in return, we let him harvest the grass turn it into these hay bales and feed his sheep. I'm really glad to see just how many hay bales we are getting off these fields. Uh, off the middle section of the farm we got 15 hay bales. Um, I think in the olive grove we've just had one hay bale and on this farm so far, sorry on this field, this bottom field, uh, it looks like we've got seven. Our neighbor Joaquin is so helpful and so nice to us and I'm really glad that we've got something that we can give him that uh, really helps him out, you know. He's been the most amazing help around the farm for us when we moved here, we knew absolutely nothing about farming. And uh, it's just been absolutely awesome to have him as a neighbor. And it's really great to have something that actually makes it worth his while. So, you know, when you're living in a community like this, it's nice to be able to help each other out and uh, do things that you can both benefit from. 
Wow, well, there you have it. Uh, this field is now done. Wow, look at this, hey? We've got a whole bunch of hay bales on this field. So there's nine of them, which is really good. I was, I'm quite surprised because this field wasn't as big or not as tall as the other ones. And the olive grove that's uh, close to the house, we got one hay bale just over there. In the height of summer, all of this grass is like, I mean, I'm not sure if you can hear it on the camera, but it's just crunchy and dry. And uh, the slightest little spark, I mean, a lightning bolt would just cause us big problems. So right now to have this all cut and all leveled like this is absolutely perfect. So the doggies are getting a, a brief outing. We've got to lock them up while the tractors are around. Uh, someone said in our last video, where are the chickens? The chickens are all over the place. They're free range. Now at one stage, I think we had like 30 or 40 chickens. And that was way too much. Um, I think we had like eight roosters or something. Now we've got a more manageable seven chickens. Uh, unfortunately, that's because they were attacked by mongoose and a lot of them died. Um, but these ones are still free ranging. They're not getting attacked by mongoose. Mongoose? Is that the plural of mongoose? I'm not sure. Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> but yeah, we aren't having any more problems with that. Um, I think when the grass is cut like this, we have more issues with predators because they can see the chickens. And when the grass is taller, we don't tend to have those issues. 39 degrees today. And uh, Tina's just doing a little, a little skim of the pool because I haven't set the filter up yet. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff floating. We must check out last week's video. I'm going to put a link on the screen up here uh, where we set up this pool. And uh, this is our second year with it. It's an absolute lifesaver. When it's 39 degrees, uh, it's boiling. And at nighttime last night, it was 30 degrees at midnight. So 30 degrees, you're trying to sleep. There's nothing better than getting up, walking over to the pool, getting inside the water that's about, well, yesterday about 25 degrees. Today it's 27 degrees Celsius. And then climbing in there, cooling off for a couple of minutes and then going back to bed. The best. So it's day four and uh, come and have a look at what's going on in the kitchen. We have this unit on the side here. We've got the doors on now. Um, the oven's kind of installed. We don't have the countertop installed just yet on both of these things. Um, and obviously I think you've seen already, these are up. Uh, so yeah, basically we're not gonna be able to finish today because we don't have these um, end panels that go down to the ground on either side. And we don't have the end panels. So unfortunately we can't finish, you know, put like the kickboards on and all of that stuff. But what we are gonna be able to do today is get a countertop going right across the top hopefully, and another one going across here. And right now, Stuart's just outside and he's drilling. He's drilling a hole through the wall. And basically this is gonna feed a gas pipe to the hob. So while Stuart's been building, um, he uh, missed this part of the, the instructions and he's ended up with a little problem on his finger. <laughs> So today is like really bizarre weather. We've got this um, Saharan dust cloud again. Uh, this is the most I've ever seen it in one year. But today is really odd because we've had like 38 degrees, 39 degrees. Today is about, I don't, I don't even know, it feels like the hottest day ever. And now it's raining. It's raining and the wind's picked up. I think we're about to have a storm. So this weather is pretty crazy. I just started recording now because I saw some lightning. So I better get inside. But yeah, we've got a big wind, really high temperatures and all of the Sahara dust up in the clouds. So quite a lot of stuff's happened. We've got the countertop in place, but it hasn't been set yet because um, Stuart's just measured out where he's gonna be cutting and putting in the sink and the cooker. But look at that, it looks so much better with this whole space here. And now we're getting to the point where the sink is getting installed. This is very exciting. And now we have a power cut. This usually happens every time that there's a th like a thunderstorm. So um, yeah, hopefully it comes back on. Yeah, the storm is rolling in. A couple of days have passed and uh, I didn't catch the end of the kitchen build. I'm really sorry. Uh, we had like a really bad day basically, or at least Stuart had a, well, like an even worse day. Um, pretty much everything that could go wrong was going wrong. Uh, there were pieces missing and all sorts of stuff. So Stuart worked all the way till about 10 p.m. He was absolutely exhausted. And uh, well, we managed to get most of it finished. Come and have a look. So it's a really big difference. Uh, we've obviously got all of these cabinets over here, just on the side. 
and, and then it ties in quite nicely with all of these going across. So it's been a couple of days. Uh, we have kind of like moved stuff into all the cupboards and uh, it's not as tidy as it was on day one, but it's still looking pretty good. There's a couple of things that still need to be addressed. Um, this cupboard door over here, for some reason, there's a problem with the hinge. And so uh, we couldn't get the door back on again. We need to get another hinge. Um, I'm sure Stuart will know how to fix that. And over here, we're gonna be building a box over the fridge. So that when you look from a distance, you've got like a shelf going over the fridge and it's just gonna tie up that whole top piece a bit better. We're also gonna be putting an extractor fan up there, like a nice big stainless steel one. And that is gonna be sitting above the oven on the hob. Um, and then there's going to be like an end board, an end panel that goes all the way down to the floor. And then there's gonna be kick plates so that you can't see underneath. And we're gonna be having that on all of these um, cupboards and things like that. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, and then we're gonna have another, another one going down to separate the, the tumble dryer and the washing machine. Standing in this corner and looking around gives you a nice idea of what the kitchen space looks like now. And standing in this corner, we can see out the front door, back to where the sofas are, and to where the um, wood-burning stove is, and around. Now at some point, we're gonna be moving this television and, this, and these wall units to the other side of the room. So that sofa is not gonna be there. Basically, we need to change these sofas because they're too big for the room. We're gonna put the telly up on the wall here. We're gonna put these wall units onto the wall there, and we're gonna get smaller sofa just in there and a smaller sofa just over here. And from that sofa, you'll be able to look out the front door on nice sunny days like this. You'll be able to look out the window and you'll be able to see the fire. At the moment, when we have a fire going, we can't really see the fire because we're sitting right next to it. Both Gina and I are really stoked with how this kitchen's turned out. It is a huge difference and an absolute life changer in comparison to what we had before. So Stuart's done a fantastic job. Stuart, I know you're watching this. Thanks, dude. I'm gonna see you soon. We're gonna have some beers. We're gonna have a braai. Um, so yeah, we've got some awesome content coming up in the next couple of weeks. I'm sure you guys are gonna love it. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, do so now. Also hit the notifications button so that you get a notification when our new videos come out. Drop us a comment. Let us know what you think of our kitchen. Let us know what you think of these videos. And uh, finally, um, if you wanna help make these videos and you wanna support our channel, head on to patreon.com forward slash okportugal. Uh, where you can basically get access to um, bonus content and you also get to see our releases early before anyone else on YouTube. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you again next time, next week, same time. <laughs> and uh, yeah, have a good weekend. Ciao.